Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to a review of Whisper Me a Love Song. I just finished episode two, and I gotta say, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my gosh, sorry, Sumi, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, but this was a good episode. Look, guys, let me tell you this, 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 this Yuri anime is right now at its peak. I'm not saying it's better than Citrus. I have Citrus as one in terms of the greatest Yuri animes of all time. Whisper Me of Love Song might or may, and I don't know, but this might surpass Bloom Into You. It might go over the top of that. I don't know. Or oh, Yuri is my job. It's one of them. But damn, Whisper Me a Love Song hit me after watching this. Last week was the debut of Yori and Himari. Yori, a third year guitarist. You know, very shy among people in front of people, but she sings. You got one girl, Himari, a first year, who's bright, who opens the door with, with the brightness, you know. As I'm watching this first episode, it was like, she never, Yori never experienced love before. So when she confessed to her, it was like, I fell in love at first sight, but a misunderstanding was like, oh, so that means you fell in love with music at first sight. I love music too. So that was a misunderstanding. However, I said last week that Yori is going to try whatever she can to, to confess her feelings to Himari. And just like that, just like that, I'm like, bro, we're not even like three or five episodes in. We're not even that. We're two episodes in and boom, boom, we already got it. Props, props for those. I'll give y'all props. Now, again, I've never read it. I never read it. But I heard good much about it. So I don't, I'm like, I'm okay if you guys give me how many chapters this has. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm probably not going to read it. I don't want to get spoiled. But just like I did with Yuri's My Job, I didn't want to, I didn't want to read it. I wanted to wait on it. And after Yuri is My Job was done, I could, I was still reading it. So like this, I want to talk about it. So let's get right to the review of Yuri. I'm not, well, I said Yuri is My Job. My bad. I meant to say, whisper me a love song, because I got to get into this. Okay, so after a big confession, a misunderstanding once again, episode two gave us the way how it starts, the love of Yuri. This is the battle of Yuri at as glorious as you could ever, ever imagine. So Himari is a huge fan of Yuri's singing. You know, music as such. So, the whole rooftop thing, yo, <laughs> we're going to see a lot of rooftop rooftop scenes, especially if they kiss, which I hope they do. Kiss at the top of the rooftop. Maybe that's going to do. But anyway, I love the scene where Yuri and him already talking about music and all that stuff. And then that moment where Yuri just grab, well, just not grab, but just pat on her, pat on Himari's head. And you felt that you felt that Yuri has that still has that gut that gut feeling that the hand the warm touching of her like it's, it's it's like is she gonna sniff her hand is she gonna sniff the hair the hair of Yuri I don't know but anyway we're not even that episode in and we already got exchange uh exchange contact information and you gotta think you gotta think um. Her friend, Yori's friend, who's like the sister to the best friend. You got to thank her. You, you got to applaud her for being the wing woman and giving her the benefit of like, oh, here's my contact. Here, here, you can exchange contact information. See, easy. That is, that is something. Now, due to the rooftop being rang, they decide to like beat up. And I like the scene where they both sat down in Yori's class talking about what they like, you know, this and that. Especially they love cats, you know. They... You know, I I thought they were gonna be a dog person. I thought she was a dog person because you know, like when it comes to like two opposites, like one's a cat lover, one's a dog lover. You don't really get that. But in this one, 
Yori and Himari express their their feelings about how they like this, how they like that, especially with the cats. And I like that scene where not only Himari shows a photo of her and the cat, but I do. But Yori's like, oh wow, she looks beautiful. And I ain't talking about the cat. <laughs> she in her mind, she likes how beautiful she is, and not just the cat. Now again, misunderstanding once again. Sunday. Well, no, they actually, she asked if you want to hang out because there's a cat pop-up shop. Well, technically, it's a date. Himari don't see it as a date. Yori sees it as a date. So now we get into the date scene. And the way how she, the way how Himari dressed, the first thing that came to my mind was this. She looked like Sumi from Rent a Girlfriend. One of the best one of the best top five waifus of all time in my list and the best character in Rented Girlfriend history. Now, the reason I say she looks like Sumi is because if you look at her, the way how she was dressed and the way how her hair color and the eyes, the first thing that came to my mind was, is that Sumi? I looked at her like, is that Sumi? The only difference is Sumi's all a day in the rain, I get that. And, but Himari is just, outspoken kind of stuff and as you see the dating the dating was the per, the 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 structure of the dating was set in stone i mean like for instance you got them eating at a pasta eating at a restaurant and she's all giddy with eating pasta they were trying to share food like an indirect kiss that was that and you know they love for their music went to the guitar shop they love for the cats and all that they were just showing like um them hanging out even though in Himari's case, hanging out. But Yori sees it as a date. Because you look at you, uh, this is I am I, I know I'm two episodes in this, guys, but I gotta say it. I'm team Yori. I'm actually on team Yori on this. Because if if, if I go back to Citrus for a bit, I, I'm with Team Um Yuzu. If I'm in Bloom into you, I'm team I forgot her name, the the Damn, I haven't seen Blooming Teen in a long time. But I'm with the main girl, not the tall one, the short one. And Yuri's my job. I'm with the team, uh, Purple Hair Girl. But my point is, I'm looking at Whisper Me a Love Song, and I'm already in Team Yuri's team. I'm on Team Yuri. Like, for real. Because it's the dating was great, guys. It was fantastic. They gave us them having an indirect kiss with sharing the pasta. Hell, even going to these cat cafes and wanted to play guitar and they love for music this and that that was there but then it's that moment it's that moment that got me off the edge of my bed because of the shit that happened yuri i have never been more proud of you you legit told her i really do have feelings for you because if you go back last week she said it and she meant that. But in this episode, she not only meant it, but she said it with force. Grabbing her arm and saying, I am I'm actually in love with you. I'm actually in love with you. And then left. Yo, she meant that. She really did. Mind you, last week she said I fell in with you at first sight. This time she put it by force. By grabbing her arm and saying, i I'm actually in falling in love with you. That literally opened the lock of Yuri. That literally just like open right there. Point blank is simple. The urine is strong now. And that, that was like the ultimate confession. That was the pinnacle. The franchise of the Yuri, the pinnacle. That is the straight up notch Yuri. As we speak, the confession was right there. And then you got Himari just thinking about that. That confession is just like, she really meant that. So, please God, please make Himari really, really, really confess. Sorry. What I meant to say is, I don't ask you a lot. But if Himari next week, better, better say right back at her, I'm in love with you. You better say that. 
You better confront that. You better open up that mind. Cause I'm, 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 I hope it. I hope. I hope. I hope. I hope. I hope. I hope. Because this week's, I mean, let me, let me. I'll be honest with you. This episode was straight up a notch at its peak. This was a good episode at it is because we're already at, like I said. This was a great episode because we are two episodes in and they already exchanged contact information and they already texting people. They already texting and they, they and we just they brought the development of Himari and Yori's relationship for them the likes and the dislike, the love for cats and all that stuff. But the confession was the biggest factor for Yuri. Now in this now next week, Himari better confess. Himari better look deep within our heart or something to say. I love you too, Yuri, or something. But when it comes to Yuri animes like this or any rom-com or Yahoo, whatever that, you smell a love triangle is going to happen. And I feel it in my bones like this. There's going to be a love triangle just like it did in Bloom, just like it did in Bloom and Tews, just like they did Yuri's My Job. There's a freaking love triangle that is going to happen. And I cannot wait to see it. But overall, though, this episode was spot on already. I feel in this like the confession has already like snapped his fingers and we're and we're there. We're there. And I hope next week he might read better confess or something like that because I'm actually looking forward to it. And I hope so. I really hope so. So that's my review of episode two of Whisper Me a Love Song. And again, I'm Team Yori. Rise of as of right now, and like I said for next week, I hope he will confess. Let's see where this goes. Now, unfortunately, I won't be able to do the video this weekend because I'll be at Castle Point at a make convention in New, Jer in New Jersey. So that, but I promise you that I will give you guys a review of Whisper Me a Love Song episode three as soon as possible. So I can't guarantee you a day, but I'll catch it up on it. So thank you for my review of episode two of it, and I'll see you in episode three.